Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all fine. So today I'm going to work on a furniture. So I'm going to make over my cane furniture and give it a new look. I'm going to use Annie Sloan chalk paints. This is in the color Obison Blue. I've purchased all the Annie Sloan products from Artsy Nest. It's an online site. I'll give you all that uh, in the description box below. Uh, and for application, I will be using the Annie Sloan brushes. This is the flat one. You have other kinds of brushes as well on their site. But if you do not have this, you can also use the normal flat brushes. These are from IKEA. So these are the chalk paints I've been talking about, the Annie Sloan chalk paints. Here you can see chalk paints, French linen, Aubusson blue and the clear wax and the dark wax. I've purchased their sanding pads, the gilding wax which is in the color of warm gold and their flat brush. Today I'm going to work on this cane furniture, it's almost 8 years old, I'm going to give it a new look. So before that I have already washed it with soap and water, it's all dry and clean. So let's get started. So um, now I'm going to start painting. First we will be doing the base coat. For that I will be taking some paint uh, from the tin and I will be um, mixing it with water because we do not want any thick coat. We want a light wash of the paint so that it covers the entire uh, furniture. So for that I am going to use a small scope of paint The best part about this, uh, about the paint is that it has no smell. That's what I like the most. Most of these chalk paints have a really bad smell and gives me a headache. But this, the Annie uh, chalk paint have absolutely no smell. Take your time and give it the first coat. Just need to make sure that uh, the paint is reaching all the nooks and corners of the furniture. And that's the first coat almost getting done I have to finish the five seater and then I'll get back to you so guys I'm I'm done with the first coat on the five seater cane sofa it's all dry. It's taken the paint really well even though there are so many grooves and you know it's done really well. So 
So as it's dry now, we let's get into the second coat. So this is the second coat. For this coat I have not watered it too much. It needs a decent coat of paint. And I'm making sure none of the edges are being missed. So now I have given two coats and it's totally dry um, and I thought I'll give it a gold effect on the corners and on, on you know just few of the places. So Annie Sloan has a gilding wax but because I'm working on a large surface like it's a five seater uh, sofa right. So, so this is their gilding wax okay it comes in a small tube. But I don't think this will be sufficient for my um, my full project. So I'm keeping this aside for an, a smaller one. And I'm going to try giving the same look with our normal acrylic color. This is in the color gold bronze. So I'll show you how that is done. Okay. Uh, even if you want to use this, it's going to be uh, applied with your finger. You can even use a brush. But I like to use it with my finger. So just like that, I'll be using my finger. So instead of this gilding wax, I'll be using acrylic color. Normal acrylic color. Okay. So let's, I'll show you how to do that. Take a small bit onto your finger. And wherever you want your color just do that I'm using my fingers because I'll have more control if you cannot do that you can also use um, a brush or a cloth So I am going to give this on the corners of the cane sofa um, where all you know I want to give a highlight. So if in case you have a, a chest or any furniture that has some embossed areas there you can use either gilding wax or else you can if you do not want to invest in a gilding wax you can use um, uh, any acrylic paint of your choice. The gilding waxes uh, come in three to four colors. Uh, they have uh, two shades of uh, gold, uh, they have silver, they have copper. The only problem is uh, it comes in a small tube. Actually, a little goes a long way, but still, I don't want to take chances because I have quite a lot, quite a few projects, uh, you know, coming up with with these. So I didn't want to waste the gilding wax on my cane sofa. So I just wanted to see if, if um, you know, uh, acrylic paints uh, will do the same kind of job. So that's the complete look um, with the gilding. Now the next step is to varnish. So 
so I'm going to apply varnish. I'm, I'm using the Asian Paints Ecuador PU. Okay, and uh, for application, I'm using the Build Skill Pro. So I have added um, the Aquadar PU along with some water and I'm going to spray it on the sofa set. Alright, so let's do that.